I'm gonna show you how to take this vintage canister set and make them look like this. First order of business is we need to paint them. Now I'm adding some salt wash to my first coat and this is just gonna help the paint stick really well. You can create some really gorgeous texture, but we're not going for that on this project. For the products that I'm using today, you will find a link under this video. So I'm gonna take some sandpaper and very lightly just knock off all of those uh, high points. And as you can see here, there's a little indent where it said sugar, flour, that kind of thing. And I don't want that. So I'm going to sand it, this all down and then I'm gonna show you how we are going to fix that problem. So we need to fix this little indent here. So all I did was add a little more salt wash to the paint mixture. And basically all I'm gonna do is just layer it up. So I'm gonna put a layer on, I'm gonna sand it, put another layer on and sand it. Now you could do, um, you could use air dry clay as well. Um, I just had extra salt wash and I didn't want to waste it and it worked out really well. At the end, you don't even see that indent. I'm using the traditional pot transfers and I'm going to cut out four labels. You get 32 in this project, in this project, that the transfer, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've had to record this? Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're gonna cut them out and we're gonna apply them to the canister. But wait, before we add this transfer, we need to seal this because this is clay-based paint, like chalk paint, and it needs to be sealed. So I'm using Big Top which is a great sealer. It's actually nice and hard, so it's gonna work really well um, because this is going in the kitchen. So um, you need to seal this first, and ideally, I really highly suggest that you leave it overnight or at least a couple of hours. If you try to apply the transfers and this has not dried completely, you're gonna have trouble, okay? So get that on, let it sit, go do something else, Come back the next day and then apply the transfer. Right, so the sealer is on, it is dry. Now time to apply the transfer. So you get this little applicator in your transfer set and you just rub it on. It's just like those old rub-on tattoos, but way better. So just rub it on and kind of pull, gently pull it off a little bit. If you pull and there's still some transfer stuck to the paper, push it back down and then just rub it some more. After you do that, you want to burnish it. And this just makes sure that there's no air bubbles and that it is applied really well. Now you'll see me here sandpapering, sandpapering sanding <laughs> sanding this because i like things vintage you do not need to do this this is preference and then i just decided to sand a little bit everywhere just to bring back some of that cream because it was just looking a little too brand new for me i'm adding some white wax and before it dries you're going to wipe it back now I'm gonna show you some pictures on how these all turned out, but stay to the end of this video because there's going to be a sneak peek of my next video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. In my next video, I'm gonna take this cutting board and this spoon, and you're never gonna guess what I make. Ne never will you guess. It's gonna be good, I can't wait to show you.